Then he gets upset and then he... Bam! What's up? It's your boy, Tom Segura, a.k.a. T-Nuts, a.k.a. Tommy Buns, a.k.a. White Mahogany. I have a brand new one-hour special coming to Netflix Friday, January 8th, called Mostly Stories. It is available worldwide. Every country and territory that has Netflix, you can watch Mostly Stories starting January 8th. Uh, shout out to Danny DeVito and George Clooney for the Nespresso machine. I appreciate it. That was a good Christmas present. And now, <laughs> hey, there's my wife, Christina, and my dog, Bitsy, and then, uh, what do you have with your heart? What's in your hands? A baby? It's our child. Huh? Oh, our child. Look, my special is coming out January 8th. How's the baby? He has your eyes. They're kind of squinty and beady like yours and shifty. Um, so anyways, uh, we have a lot going on. I gotta do, I've been doing press. I gotta do more press. If I ever understood, uh, that you had to do press to do stand-up, I may have chosen a different path. Um, and we're gonna, we have to go to our podcast, Your Mom's House. If you've never seen it, you should listen to Your Mom's House. Go to yourmomshousepodcast.com. Um, we ordered delivery groceries yesterday. They, there's an app. What app do we use? Um, Instacart. We've been doing it for three weeks. Yeah. And, and DoorDash. But Instacart brought, um, we ordered bacon and they brought three packages of bacon. <laughs> so now sucks. We have to make all this bacon. All right. Um, I'll keep you posted on everything that we do today. Uh, like I said, the press, the podcast, Show and all week pants. long. Huh? Show your pants that you're wearing. Show my pants? I bet Brendan Walsh would love this post. Alright, we just got to our studio. We're going to do a podcast. Uh, if you look at our office, you might be like, oh, did you guys move in yesterday? Uh, we've been here six months? Yeah. Maybe five, six months? Nothing is on the walls. No. Everything is still in boxes like the day we moved in. Absolutely mm -hmm. everything. That's the old this board. Is, this is my favorite. This is a list of this is when we do our show. I write down our topics. Yeah. Read Persian voicemails. Oh yeah. Jeans Bond. Oh Jeans Bond, yeah. PF Chang horses shit. There well we go. do have this thing up. At least this these are uh DVDs and CDs, as you can tell, they're just flying off the shelves. <laughs> There's so fucking many of them. You buy them a thousand at a time, just so you know. Um, yeah, man. All types of stuff that is not... I bought this computer, this iMac, uh, eight to ten weeks ago. Oh, we haven't even... We haven't... That's what it's like when you're pregnant and then you have a baby. You're like, well, I'll do it next year. I'll do it in a year. Uh, there's a printer I bought at the same time. Haven't set that up. Um, yeah. I have a lot of hipster everywhere. Here's all our equipment and everything. So now this is like, uh, for those of you who are seeing this and don't know about the podcast, I do a weekly podcast called Your Mom's House. I may have mentioned it earlier. And we come here and we rarely have guests. It's usually just my wife, Christina Pajitsky and I. And we talk about farts and um, what's going on in our lives. And, you know, we play <coughs> crazy audio from the internet. And we just talk, do we talk shit? It's called, just about talking shit, man. So, that's what we do. Today is our first podcast since the baby was born, uh, December 14th. So, we are getting back into it. And uh, it'll be up, like I said, on our podcast sites, on iTunes, everywhere. If you're listening to podcasts, check it out. Um, we're going to do that the interview with Pace went well, so... There's just another thing we gotta do. And then we gotta, well, how, I guess we just, we just left the baby. I think you can leave a baby for like three hours. Um, in yeah, in a crate, we just locked the crate. So, baby should be fine. Yeah, that belly, the hardness of the belly, because can you lose that fat? 
Like, yeah. Is that even? How do you lose the? I bonus? think I think his, I think Bert's fat is. <laughs> Talk about it. Well, I think it's easier to lose actually the hard fat. Yes, the, but the thing is <laughs> his those bodies are harder to get the bloated descended because it's it's from hard living right. like my stomach is softer It's right. it's like a sugar and <laughs> high fat food You know, I just need to let to, to diet, but it would be it'd be work It would be you know eat well for six months and then lose right. 25 pounds his would be don't drink for four days and lose 25 pounds. You know, you know what I mean? So it's right. It's a different type of body reacting to what you put in it. He's, he's basically, he eats, he's poisoning himself. <laughs> he's a trash can. Yeah. If, if any of you are skilled in Photoshop, if you want to put this head on Gerard Depardieu's bloated, swollen It'd be pretty good. Body. Yeah. And tweet that to him. That would be great. That would be great. I would love that. <laughs> he looks horrible. And there's a scene where he's having sex with like some cute twenty year old. It was like got a perfect body. Yes. And, and like, she was a hundred and ten pounds. Yeah. Maybe. And he doesn't deserve that. No. The whole time I'm like, you disgusting fat body. Apparently, Gerard Depardieu's daughter is not a fan of his. Really? I think they had like a falling out. Yeah, I read something about that. Hmm. I think she thinks that her dad's a pos. A pos. Yeah. Hmm. I can't imagine it though. No. <laughs> weird i think he probably just drinks bottles of wine by the like yes. from the bottle yes you know like that guy in the commercials who's like, ah the french oh orson welles or, yes. yes the orson welles that's where gerard Depardieu is heading is the orson welles school of alcoholism and um i'm actually i'm vlogging myself right now which i'll put up but if if you're interested and in, um you see this video uh you'll see this is the soundboard and I have things like a uh, bookmark like this right here so I can press a button. Oh, <laughs> 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 and then the other one. <laughs> oh man. That is, That's fantastic. And we revisited the Dennis Rodman. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Documentary where he goes yeah. to Korea. That was pretty great. <laughs> God, <laughs> man, that uh, Big Bang in Pyongyang. It's on Showtime anytime if you want to see that. And uh, he's definitely God. he should have a Gerard Depardieu body for sure. Oh my! If he God. wasn't six eight <laughs> and hadn't you know been a pro athlete for so many years, his right. body would fucking look like that. Yeah, it's just because his body is stretched out. Uh, 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 He's so tall, mm -hmm. it stretches out the fat, huh? Yeah, it does.